Hello everybody, my name is Beck. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. Look at me actually filming on time. Yay! But it, will I edit this video on time? Stay tuned. So today I'll be going through all the games that I bought and played in the month of April and if I'm late, I am really sorry. It's been a hectic couple of months between my work life and my real life and, and I run two channels so... <laughs> Am I done with the excuses? If you hear any noises, I do have um, neighbours on both ends. I have a neighbour who likes to hang out in the patio and if you can hear anything, I do live in close proximity to like everybody because this is a suburban area. It is what it is. Let me know if I need to like change the audio again because in my last video, apparently the audio had some issues and look at me with a stand that can adjust the audios and everything of my new camera. So if the audio sounds iffy, please let me know. If there's any technical issues, let me know because sometimes when I'm editing I don't know what the hell I'm doing I'm not really good with tech I just know enough to do all of this that's why nothing really changes throughout the years so this month I've mainly played on my Nintendo Switch and my Steam collection. I don't even know if I even opened up my PS5 this month, but maybe I did to collect the PSN Plus games, but most likely I opened up the app and I grabbed the PS and plus whatever games that they give out every month and hopefully this device will fix all my technical issues maybe it will cause me more problems but without further ado before I get even more aggravated because I've been having tech issues noise issues throughout the whole month and if i can't get through this we're just gonna have to deal with the noises like there's nothing else i can do but if there's any technical issues please let me know down in the comments below and if you don't want to like leave a comment feel free to message me on instagram if you don't want to be seen i understand sometimes so i'll be going through all the digital games that i bought in the month of april for my nintendo switch so i have the light on me the latest game i got was to the shelter dog shelter city Simulator. I've wanted this game for a long time. I've always seen like really mixed reviews about it because it is very chunky and laggy on the Nintendo Switch. It is like the title suggests you run a dog shelter and you get the option of whether or not you can euthanize your pets so you can give them away. So obviously I chose the giving away pathway. Um, I don't want realism to be in this game but I had trouble playing it i only got it for three dollars that was the main reason why i picked up this game finally so originally it was retail for like 30 bucks and it, it got discounted to three bucks tldr for three dollars i would say go and grab it but anything beyond that price i would suggest maybe waiting for like a second version of this game because it is chunky and it is laggy and there was potential i wanted some tutorials because it was not far enough and i was struggling i actually had to youtube some videos to help me out and the second game that I kind of play was Two Point Hospital I think I also mentioned it in my last video so I'm in my Sims building city kind of era and I also picked up Room Factory special Room Factory 3 special I don't know where the box went but that was the only physical game that I ended up picking up and the cartridge is actually like right here to give you some evidence there was a bunch of games <laughs> on sale it's not focusing trust me this is room factory 3 it was the only game that they had available that was on sale that they had physically at the store there was a couple of more games that i wanted to pick up but unfortunately out of stock and fortunately it saved some money so i could buy you know more books follow me on my book channel if you want to see more content but anyway enough of a self-plug that is all the Nintendo Switch games that I can think of on top of my head when it comes to the digital slash physical that I bought slash played. Now on to the nitty gritty details. This month, so for whatever reason, I've been playing on my Steam the most and there were a couple of sales. I'm pretty sure I would have picked up more eShop games because both Nintendo and Steam were doing like sales. And that's all you need to say to me. Sales and I'm here for it. And I just barely touch my PS5 these days. So I need a portable device. And if the Steam Deck ever releases out here in Australia, I will run and pick it up. Or if they release another version of the PS Vita, I will run 
and pick it up because whatever that PS remote is, do not buy it. I regret buying it. Don't look at me. Everybody in my friend group is telling me to sell it. There is no point in selling it because <laughs> no one's gonna buy it unless you sell it for like super cheap. I see it as a collection item and right now it is collecting dust but moving on. My latest purchase is Rusty's Retirement. It is an idle sim game. You're supposed to leave it on your desktop. It's kind of reminiscent of games like Cookie Clicker. You just like occasionally you move it around, upgrade certain items so you can continuously improve on whatever you are doing and in Rusty's retirement, you run a farm on your desktop. So half of the screen or maybe like a quarter of the screen is that tiny idle game. And you're supposed to be like doing whatever you do on the desktop and occasionally check back onto the game. It is so addictive. Do you know what I have on right now? My computer is on over there right now with that game. Just idly processing. And after I'm done filming this, when I'm editing this video, I will also be playing it. I'm addicted to it. And when I bought the game, the starter pack came out. It's another $5 that I just want to give it to them. I should have bought that pack because it comes with starter pack and the base game. But I already have the base game, so I can't justify this. But then I did something really stupid and actually bought another pack. I bought Kingdom's 90s Summer of Greed. Buying the game alone was $18 but if you bought it in a pack with the base game it was $14 but I already have the base game so I'm like I'm buying a bundle it, it's gonna save me $4 and I'm buying the same game over and over again you can also play kingdoms two crowns kingdoms um, island I think it's called island for free on the PSN if you have the lowest and second tier. I don't remember if it's like extra or whatever it's called. And I think sometimes you can also play Kingdoms 2 Crowns for free if you also have an X box subscription or some sort i don't know there's too many subscriptions these days the game usually comes in for like super cheap so i've been going back to kingdoms to crowns the 80s it is like a spin-off of the base game so it has its own storyline you build and defend your castle or like camp in this case it is very retro based on an 80s camp you just build to defend monsters that's trying to attack and you have to find a way to go home essentially because you're stuck at a camp there is a storyline for this one actually i never really pay attention to the stories of uh, kingdoms two crowns or kingdom games in general i just enjoy the building the defending aspect of the game if that sounds like something you like to do then highly recommend but i think i prefer the traditional kingdoms two crowns and the kingdoms uh, new lands original games over this one but it is fun and whatever kingdoms releases i'm gonna buy i'm triple dipping in all of my games i'm mentioning this month i also bought hasune miku mega mix plus i haven't played played Hasune Miku in a while, I think over a year at this point, and it really showed because I streamed it on Twitch and I was struggling. I used to be able to play on Extreme. I'm not someone that can hit perfect all the time, but I could manage finishing a song, like a lot of songs on Extreme, and I just knew I was going to struggle, and I played some songs on hard after a year, yeah, after a year, and it really shows. I've regressed in my abilities and I don't know how to use a PS5 controller when I'm playing Hasine Miku and it really really shows. If you'd like to see me struggle, I think the stream is still up on my Twitch so here we go. But anyway, regardless, I have multiple copies of the games I've mentioned except for the Nintendo Switch ones and okay. Now another game that I really want this month for the Nintendo Switch, switching back to the topic, haha, a pun intended actually was unintended. I would like to get Paper Mario. That's the only game I can think of in the month of May that I'd like to play and get. But regardless, I don't know what the hell happened in the month of April. I felt like there was a lot going on and these are the things that I remember and wrote down. What games have you guys been playing in the month of April? Any upcoming games you'd like to let me know? I'm really out of the loop once again because of this situation so all i do is read and play my idle games over and over again speaking of which i forgot to mention for my ipad i played my usual bang dream and that's about it oh i also play a little bit of honkai star rail but that's a given at this point not really if i don't mention it how would you guys know but anyway any upcoming games you'd like to let me know any new releases that i would be interested in let me know if you have anything you'd like to say to me leave it down below Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button if you want to see more content from me and hit the bell for notifications and I'll see you guys in my next video.